Hi everybody, it's journal flip through time. Um, before we dive into the journal and, and all the little fun little things that are inside, I just wanted to kind of give a little quick short backstory on this journal. This journal was the journal that I created while I was filming an online course for myself to go um, for my website. Um, and the course was about how to make your own art journal from scratch. So this the result of of that filming of that course. And uh, yeah, so this is the art journal that I made for that. So enough of that, let's dive in. So the front cover is showing one of my sketches that I did in charcoal and watercolor. The back is like this with some more watercolor and some stenciling. Um, it's got a tassel on the side, a black tassel and a little tree of life uh, charm on it. The closure is dyed fabric strip and then I got one of those little, I added one of those little wooden flower beads that I like to use. And then there's some hand stitching that I did here as well. Okay, so let's dive in. So this is the inside when you open it up. The journal has a variety of different pages and papers. Um, in different sizes as you can see that there's some sticking out and a lot of my journals that's actually all of my journals not a lot all of my journals are like that I always have pages sticking out so this one opens up like that this goes down this is an old pattern sheet the this is uh, not attached it's just having held in with paper clips so you can do whatever you want with this collage scrap there's also this little tape thing I did here with some a piece of book page in it that you can add as a little detail to some collage art. It's one of my hand-drawn flowers, um, stained. I dyed the, uh, this is grid paper. The grid paper I dyed with um, onion peel and uh, what else was it? mums I, I had saved last year's mums flowers um the buds i had dried them out and i was using that as well with the onion peel so the dye is a result of that some music sheet that opens up like that um if you had seen one of my videos i had shared recently on uh youtube i was sharing how i created um, a bookmark I don't have it here with me um, using a bunch of collage scraps and threads and uh, packing tape so this is the first one I had made and I decided to put in here I didn't completely do it uh, make it into a bookmark is what I'm trying to say so with the other one I had made in the video I had put a hole punch in here and I had just added a little tassel so you could like that's like that so you could easily do that too um, but I decided to not make this into a bookmark I mean even as is it could be used as a bookmark but I left it as is because I wanted whoever ends up owning this journal to be able to do with what they want. So you could uh, do some more with it by adding a tassel, some beads or whatever, um, and, and turn it into a bookmark. Or you can cut it up and just use it as bits of, uh, you know, collage or whatever inside your journal. It's another book page. Little fun tab thing here, collage tab. So you can see there's lots of different scrap papers in here and different papers of different mediums, some grid paper, some music sheet, and it opens up like that. Another one of those, uh, my flower sketches here that I like to do. This is done with some jelly, um, my jelly plates, jelly printing. This goes like that, flaps open. Some packaging from an old pattern from way back in the day when they used to do these. Another one of my flower, my little flower sketches that I like to do. This flaps open like that. 
is a printout of, um, I have, it's actually a f available for free download in my website of my scribble doodle flowers, I think I called it or something, but yeah. So I um, printed it off and added some parts of that in here as well. This is some deli paper that opens up. Some big book pages here that I ran through my sewing machine and um, so it's got a spreading stitch on it. This is actually an envelope. This is deli paper trying to come out of it. Um, so this is an envelope pocket. I just added some collage scraps to it, um, gluing it down. And then the other side, this is removable. And then there's, like I said, a bunch of little collage bits and stuff in here so that you could use it in your art journal. Just gonna tuck all that back in. Some more dyed paper. A little die cut of an Ace of Diamonds card. This is old ledger paper from a book I got at an antique market a while back. Some origami paper. Uh, oh, these are one of those cute little um, paper clips I sometimes add to my journals. It's done with fabric scraps and some threads and a little bit of collage. And um, this is another little piece of collage that you can use. It's not, obviously it's removable. Paper bag, rice paper, love it. Some more pattern paper. This opens up like that, and then this flips open like that. This pops up like that. Some more grid paper that was dyed with onion peel and um, uh, mum's flowers. Love that color. Some more rice paper. Um, <laughs> this is a sketch I had done. I added the words, it's not attached, so it's removable. So you could do whatever you want with it. Um, I added the words, think outside the box. I did this actually yesterday morning. And um, yeah, that's exactly what it was I was doing. I was feeling, you know, playing around with a face sketch I had done and I added all these different colors on it. And then I started adding some collage on it. And this is my version of me stepping outside my comfort zone and stepping outside my box. So I decided to tuck that in here. As a reminder to whoever ends up owning this, that you know it's okay to step outside the box and try new things and to not be afraid to do it. So she's in there. This is some of the um, tissue that those old patterns uh, used to be made out of. So it's there's a piece in there, it's removable, so you can do um, you know whatever you want with it. Some deli paper. Some more of that origami. Uh, this opens up like that. Some more of that ledger, dyed paper. This tag here that I did a sketch of one of my faces on it. Um, she was, this, the sketch on here was inspired by the cover. And that's removable. It's got some um, little bits of embroidery floss on it. She's done with watercolor and um, charcoal pencil. And this is another envelope pocket with some more bits of collage scraps in it that you can see here. <clears throat> Grid paper, pattern paper, book pages. This flips open like that. This is another one of those fun little paper clips with paper collage and a bit of fabric and it says allow on it. And it's just holding this fab, um, this collage scrap in place. This opens up like that. Some more um, collage scraps. 
paper clipped in so it's removable. The grid paper that I dyed, and that flips open like that. Music sheets and some more um, printing and that sort of thing. I had done on my jelly plate. And then of course the inside cover of the journal where I added one of my um, flower sketches too with some watercolor and that sort of thing and, and charcoal. So there you have it. And like I said, she's now available on my website at thepaintedwitchstudio.com where you can find all the details about her with regards to the dimensions of the book of the journal and the number of pages in it and all that sort of thing. So it's all in there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Take care.